Hallo meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, hier zurück zu Let's Play Eternal Sonata mit Middle 30. Oh ja, und in der letzten Folge haben wir endlich den ähm, Endgegner vom äh, Lento-Friedhof. War das jetzt Lento? Ich habe keinen blassen Schimmer. Auf jeden Fall <lacht> äh, sind wir jetzt beim Endgeboss, der ziemlich Aua macht, wie wir feststellen konnten. Der macht nämlich schön richtig 5000 Schaden und so ein Scheiß, wenn man nicht blockt. Also, viel Spaß! <lacht> Hawkeye! Oh ja! Holic Thunder! Oh yeah! Shadow Storm! Phantom Wolf! Hawkeye! Bone Crumble! Holding Thunder! World Strike! Tot. Ja. Doch, ganz schön. Uh. Hat doch Glut zu trainieren. Ach, mach, man macht halt einfach immer Schaden. Ne? Das heißt. Naja. <lacht> Wenn... Ah, verdammt. Naja. Wenn wir aber zu den anderen kommen, dann wird es echt recht ziemlich arschig. Naja, der überlebt das eh nicht. So, stopp. Donnerrührer. Zwei Level Ups. Oh yeah. Und? Oh yeah. Und Viola kurz davor. Ich hab meinen Mund. Looks like we won. You know, we did kind of just barge in here all of a sudden. Now that I think about it, it may just have been protecting the graveyard against intruders. Well, I'd feel kind of bad about that then. Don't worry. I'm sure it's all right. Now, let's get the simile water and start heading back. What is it, Jazz? It seems like you have something on your mind. Claves, what do you think of Falsetto? Huh? What do you mean? We have an information leak on our hands. There's a spy within our ranks, and I think that it may very well be Falsetto. What? You don't think she's been acting strange lately? She's being oddly combative. Especially toward you. Think about it. She never used to be like that. Well, it could be. That falsetto is just jealous of us. I sincerely hope that's all it is. Even so, there is definitely something she's hiding from me. I've known her since childhood, so we can tell almost everything about each other. Everything. Hold on. If there's a spy among us, wouldn't the guards have been watching the dungeon? Remember, our plan was to infiltrate the dungeon directly through the secret passage. Yes, that is true. It must have been a coincidence. I can't believe Falsetto is a spy. Yes, you're right. Thanks, Claves. That's a relief. I was just about to lose my faith in Falsetto.
It sure is taking them a long time. You think I should go to Andante and get them? Yes, that's a good idea. Guess it's nothing. You fool. The information you provided us was very valuable. But I was ordered to kill you if your identity was revealed. Don't take it personally. I know you. You're Rondo. Falsetto has suspected you for some time now. I suppose sooner or later, they were bound to find out. You had the perfect chance to frame her as the spy, but you just let it pass. And you know that failure cannot go unpunished. already knew that falsetto suspected it was me Ugh, claves why do you always need things repeated well they do taste good in soup i don't know about that i seriously doubt he'll be attacking andantino anytime soon It's boring when things always go according to plan. It's nice to have things shaken up every once in a while. It's okay with you, isn't it, Claves? A lifetime to build, but it only takes a moment to destroy. You know, human beings really are masters of destruction. Everything we do has some effect on the environment. And ultimately, that ends up affecting human society as well. Waltz really made a mistake when he chose me for this mission. Because I went and fell in love with the target. As a spy, I guess I'm a total failure. But more than that, I'm an idiot too. Why did I... why did I say those things to him? Well, it could be that Falsetto is just jealous of us. I sincerely hope that's all it is. Even so, there is definitely something she's hiding from me. I've known her since childhood, so we can tell almost everything about each other. Everything. When he was saying that he and Falsetto knew everything about each other, I felt so... The truth is, I guess I'm the one who was jealous of them. As a woman, I just didn't want to lose to Falsetto. I wanted to fight for him fairly and have him choose me. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? A fair fight is the last thing that would suit someone as deceitful as me. And yet, after all that I've done... Hold on. If there's a spy among us, wouldn't the guards have been watching the dungeon? Remember, our plan was to infiltrate the dungeon directly through the secret passage. I 
I even surprised myself when I said it. I can't believe I didn't take advantage of my chance to frame Falsetto. Maybe Rondo was right. If I had just made her out to be the spy, my job and my love life would have been easy. But it's strange. I don't regret it at all. Actually, for the first time in my life, I feel like I could start everything brand new. Yes, that is true. It must have been a coincidence. I can't believe Falsetto is a spy. Yes, you're right. Thanks, Claves. That's a relief. I was just about to lose my faith in Falsetto. <laughs> well, ultimately, I guess I lose both in work and in love. I wish... I wish I had grown up with Jazz. Then, just maybe I would have led a life better than the one I did. I truly envy Falsetto. This will be my final gift to both of them. Now go! Fly! But your destination isn't Forte anymore. It's Baroque! It's done. I had to do at least one good deed in the end, or else the Valkyries would never come for me. I wonder if they'll ever figure out who the spy was, that it was me. Yes, I'm sure Falsetto will tell them. Were my feelings real? Or was it all just some kind of illusion? Everything I've ever done has always just been an act. But at least, at the end, I want to be the real me. I... I truly loved you. Fantasie impromptu. Verdammt lange Sequenz ist verdammt lang. Holy moly, ey. Endlich wieder schön, seine eigene Stimme zu hören. Beinahe. Diese herrlich fließende Melodie in C-Small komponierte Chopin 1835 im Alter von 25 Jahren. Obwohl es schön und fantasievoll seinem Namen gerecht wird, hatte Chopin nicht vor, dieses Stück zu veröffentlichen. Er bat sogar seinen Freund Julian Fontana nach seinem Tod, die Noten zu verbrennen. Warum hat das nicht gemacht und warum sind die dann hier und warum wird das gerade abgespielt? Hm. Ich würde mal sagen, das sind wir dann doch auch in der nächsten Folge erst. Holy moly.